Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do again. Uh, this video is outside of medicine again. Uh, continue with the psalm. Uh, actually, it's very exciting. Uh, every time I uh, read psalm, I'm very happy. And uh, uh, so today we're going to read psalm number eight. Um, this is psalm eight. For the director of music, according to Get It, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. In all the earth, you have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. Because of your enemies, of, to silence the foe and the avenger, avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? the son of man that you care for him. You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruled, ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all the swim, the path of the seas, all that swim the path of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all earth. So this is number eight. Again, we do not know what the, uh, one, in what uh, circumstances uh, he wrote this, but uh, looks like it's a happy sound. It's a tune of high and um, praise and uh, uh, just majestic of the Lord, what he believes. This is the 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 uh, main theme of this Psalm eight. Not like previously, a couple of them we read very sad, sorrow, anxious, and anger. But this is totally different. It's very happy, cheerful, praise, and the, um, uh, that's that's the main uh tune from this Psalm. Um. That's, let's start from verse with verse. Um, for the director music, according to Gittes, a psalm of David. I think Gittes probably is uh, just a style of music. Um, and uh, again, David liked to compose many psalms for the purpose of singing in the hall, I think when they worship or, uh, or daily in chanting. Okay. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all earth. This is so happy. Praise, O oh Lord, you are so great. All the earth, uh, sing your majestic name, you are great. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. Because of your enemies, to silence the foe and the avenger. So uh, this is mentioned enemies. If you recall David Psalm, he mentioned many times the enemy, the enemies, the foes, and this he mentioned again the enemies, um, because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger, um, we we have to praise you, the praise from us to you, uh, to uh, to silence the foe and the avenger. And you are great because you set your glory above the heavens. Uh, and then when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, the nature, the wonder of nature is not, com is not coming from nothing. Again, this is a praise, like when I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, the nature wonder is not, it's because of you, which you have set the place. This is the, the creation, remember the, the first uh, chapter of, of Genesis, start from the God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, um, and next, what is the man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care of him? Because you are so great, you created nature, and uh, you're not supposed to mind for for the man, but you are. You are. You still uh, care of the man you created, and you put the man on the earth to conquer. You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honor. You make 
man, the human being on the earth to conquer and just a little lower than the heaven, uh, below the heaven. You made him ruler over the works of your hands and you put everything under his feet. Uh, again, this is uh, the praise, the Lord, you are so wonderful, you are so great. Um, you set up the stars in the sky, you set up the moons and then you created the human and then you make them in charge. Um, you put everything under his feet, the flocks and the herds and the beasts of the field, um, the birds in the air and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas, um, the air, the birds in the air and the fish in the sea, they all are your creators, they are all created by you. They are, they are all your creatures. So you create all of these livings, um, but, and you put them all under the, uh, the conquer, conquer, conquer of human being. So this is, um, um, I was so touched by what he said. I lost, sometimes it just uh, thinking about this. It is true, so wonderful. The heaven, the earth, the creations, and you put human to, to control everything. If you look at the history from, start from the first uh, lightning of the fire and people just uh, conquer the nature in the way they want isn't it um so and then the last words is oh lord our lord how majestic is your name in all the earth the praise the um the majestic is your name that's what uh, the conclusion for this uh, psalm 8 so these are, uh, I do not know the implication, but again, he said, uh, he prays, just the praise and um, uh, with the high mood and the, uh, say, you're so great and you put man in charge, even though um, you're so powerful, you're the king. The king is so powerful, uh, establish the nation and you establish the heaven and the earth and uh, the king sent the officers, put everybody in charge at a different place. And the God, the Lord, his Lord, create the, uh, the heaven, the earth, and the, all the livings. And the Lord put humans in charge of the earth. Okay, so this is the, uh, I'm not saying that he's compared himself to the, uh, to the king or to the Lord. But he's the king. And he's from this psalm actually just the saying how wonderful the nature the his god is create everything i can can tell his happy happiness and um the spirit is high uh probably um there it's we all have those uh up and down high and low time so this is, it seems david is in uh, high spirit very happy um and along reading this i think we all should have those kind of mo moment regardless of what happened in the life there's always something to be happy to be cheerful uh, look at especially the nature wonders the birds in the in the sky flying with chirpings and also the the fish in the sea in the water and the stars at night so um if this is the the psalm number eight if we're in the blue or sometimes not happy read this uh, psalm eight probably will cheer up uh, so that is the reading for psalm um, eight today and thank you for watching we'll see you next time